going to be demonstrating a chemical reaction by making a vinegar and baking soda bottle rocket. Well, the materials needed will be uh, vinegar, baking soda, one square of toilet paper, uh, measuring cup, two liter bottle, funnel, it's recommended to use a funnel, but we're using it anyways, a cork, uh, we're using electrical tape, but you can use duct tape. Uh, a one teaspoon, measuring spoon, a board, and a screw. Oh, we got the square sheet of toilet paper, and what you're going to be needing is one, or uh, one and a half to two inch, uh, table, teaspoons of baking soda. Uh, to roll it up and put inside the bottle. Right now I'm just adding one and a half teaspoons and you roll it up or flatten it down and then roll it up so that you got the main or you got your little ammunition. Fold the corners in just keep on trucking. There you go, you got your little bullet. Right now we're going to be adding the vinegar into the 2 liter bottle. I don't want to make a mess so I'm going to be using a funnel, putting it inside. So there you go, you just got to pour it in. There you go, you got your solution. So now since we got our solution, or inside our bottle with the vinegar, and we got our uh, baking soda, uh, round, and our launch pad. We're gonna be going to the drop zone real soon. I'll meet you there. Here comes the fun part. We're gonna be dropping the uh, baking soda round inside the solution, and the chemical reaction will be uh, hopefully that the uh, toilet paper will dissolve into the solution, and the baking soda will react with the vinegar, and it'll make that uh, carbon dioxide and make the big boom. Here we go. Uh -oh. Give some time. 